And I, I managed to uh, uh, find somebody going for a swim out there on uh, Lake Hartwell this weekend on Sunday around noontime. I was fishing an area and uh, noticed some people over on the bank and it, it, it was sort of a caught my attention that way and the next thing I realized I, there was something in the water there and I, I, I looks like it sort of moving almost and so I'm wondering what this could be and as I'm paying more attention to it, it, it looks like a person, but there's no way a person could be that far out in the lake. And there's just no way. I had so many clothes on, I looked like the, you know, I, I couldn't even put my arms down like on a Christmas story. And, and I'm thinking, I got to go make sure what this is. And I go over there, and sure enough, here's this, here's this guy swimming. And I, I first words out of my mouth is, I said, you picked a hell of a day to go for a swim. And, and he said, my boat sunk. And I'm like, I, you know, and you see that he's got all his clothes on, his boots in it. And I said, we got to get you out of the water, man. And, and he was a big dude and got him around to the back of the boat and had the ladder down. And I mean, he'd been in the water long enough that he was just ice cold to touch. And even as strong as he was, he wasn't able to take himself into the boat like he needed. So I'm pulling, and he's and he and he says he says to me he says just tow me in, and I said man we gotta get you out of that water you're gonna die I mean this is cold I mean he was cold to touch through my gloves and I'm pulling and I thought I was gonna pull his hand off of his arm there but eventually he was able to get a foot in that bottom rung of that ladder and he got up enough that I got the top weight over. I basically sat on my butt, flat foot, you know, flat on my butt, my feet there at the lip of the boat, and pulled this way where I could just lean back into him because just me pulling, I wasn't accomplishing anything. I was, if nothing else, I'd ended up going in with him. So, and uh, but I, it was just so strange because I happened onto this after the fact, after the boat was already gone, and here he is out in the water. So it, it looked like he'd been just dropped there from a helicopter or something, because there's nothing around. There's no, there's nothing else. Just him out there in the middle of the lake, managed to get him to shore. But somebody on shore had seen the boat go under and had called the sheriff, so they were already there. And the ambulance was on its way, and uh, you know, it, it worked out. Couldn't have worked out any better for the guy. He had the worst luck and the best luck all at the same time. But uh, you know, I, it just goes to show you, it, it, a big strong guy like that, it doesn't matter. That cold water takes it out of you. You know, no matter. You know, I, I'm out there on the water all the time, and you, and you, you got to respect that cold water and keep that life jacket on because that. Other than that, they'd have been searching for him now. And that uh, boarding ladder. You ain't kidding because we, we've used it before in the summer and if you ever try to get in a boat without a ladder, it is nearly impossible. You'd think you could do it. It is so hard to do. And that ladder, you know, would flip it down to where he could get up in there. Without that, I'd have never got him in the boat. There's, just, I, there's no doubt about that. I, I did not by the time get him in there. So that, that boarding ladder back there, that little piece of equipment right there, putting it on all those boats was worth that one instance right there.